The following stream has been approved for all puzzle audiences by the Puzzle General Community. Hi everybody, this is, um, I guess we're just taking it from the top here. This is Blasphemous Roar, and I'm joined with, uh, go ahead and introduce yourself there, Blue Bomber. Hello everybody, my name is Blue Bomber 285 And this is the first match of the Mystery Puzzle Challenge, where players will be playing Blind Puzzle Races. Keep in note, none of the players have played these games or modes before today, so they don't know what they're up against, what they're doing, and what they're going to be dealing with. So unlike traditional puzzle speed runs where everybody's going to be showing a dramatic amount of skill and, and doing everything quickly, that's not going to happen here. They are going to spend plenty of time flubbing about trying to figure out what they are doing and trying to get everything going. So um, I guess that's everything here. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I am going to drop out of the race now and everybody should be good to go. So we should see the runners taking off very shortly. So Blue, have you participated in any blind related races or, or tournaments before? No, I have not. I am slightly too busy to participate in some blind stuff right now. Oh man, it's a treat, especially watching it over here on the commentator's desk. Because the other fun part to note is that we, the commentators, have never played these either. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on. But we catch on quickly. I'm just trying to get everybody's streams set up here. Same here. Uh, one second here. So we're trying to pull up the, the information here now. Try to get everybody's streams going. So it looks like this one involves moving the entirety of the stage at the same time with every input. So you can use the blocks to block off what they're doing, and they need to make sure that they're capturing all the they're hitting all the same colored gems at the same time. At this so gravity is free for all. This is the um, this is the Gravnik mode in Puzznik, and their goal is to beat stage four ten. And it looks like it's only colored gems. As long as they match two or more, they will um, at least 
break apart. So the challenge is actually getting all of the colors needed together at the same time. So, do you know anybody to think about with these runners? I don't know much about anything except that Pidge is a female. Okay, well, there are runners today. We have Space Cow, who actually, um, I believe Space Cow was my first opponent in Mystery Tournament 10. Uh, it's a pretty solid runner. Um, pretty good, and has done a few blind races before. The runner on the top left, John, uh, he's also um, joined Mystery Tournament 10 as well, and has participated in a number of Mystery matches since. So, we've been doing blind races over on the Mystery Funhouse channel for a while, so these guys are going to get missed cards. So, these guys already have some experience under their belt of knowing what they're doing in a blind race and knowing what they're expecting. Spin Beast as well. I've never met Pitch before, um, but again, Spin Beast joined in Mystery Tournament 10 and has been doing all the races as well. So, it looks like we're having a bit of stream issues. I'm going to try to get a hold of... Um, Okay, looks like we have some audio balance there happening. Excellent. So we're off to a good start here. It looks so like we can definitely see Jal running off with a decent lead right now. He's on level 2 3. Of note, it's a important to note that this is a, um, whereas this is a four-way race, this isn't necessarily winner takes all. This is actually a race between Spin Beast and Space Cow on the bottom and Jal and Pidge on the top. So we're actually looking for two winners out of this matchup instead of just one versus, or uh, free-for-all on this. Yeah, and it also looks like that you only have a certain amount of moves that you can make on top of that, so it needs to be done in a set amount of moves. Yeah, you need to make sure that you're doing it in the right amount of moves. You also need to make sure that you are not leaving any of those gems alone, because as soon as a gem is by itself, it's incompletable. So, we're actually doing pretty good. Um... Like, Jal's definitely taking it away really well here. We have none of the... Our, looks like Space Cow just reached the stage World 2 on this one. So it looks like the goal here is going to be defeat level 4-10, which means that they are having to go up against 40 stages of this. And I'll pass on the notes uh, that you guys have in chat to our organizer um, as well to keep improving over here. This is the first mystery puzzle challenge that they've attempted uh, here at the community at Puzzle General. And uh, yeah, it's definitely going to be an interesting one, having a, a mystery, a blind race where it's all puzzles. So it's not just going to be about quick reaction times. It's going to be about thinking ahead and playing it safe. Because in, in mystery matches, there's a lot of unknowns and playing it safer tends to be the strongest strat but while also not playing so slow that you're messing it up so the fact that these are puzzle games really adds to the the amount of foresight that you need with it so it looks like jowl there is stuck on two two six he's actually been there for a bit but yeah. his opponent pidge is is pretty far back jowl seems to be struggling that little those three blocks in the center really seem to screw up with that level. And Space Cow has just caught up on level 2-6 now. All right, so we have Space Cow is defeating Spin pretty heartily, two steps above. Um, it looks like uh, Paige is still a bit behind Jaw there. And Pidge is getting caught in the restart loop of not realizing that, that the puzzle has been solved. 
so that's going to be a common thing you'll see in, in, in puzzle games. Um, a few common things that you'll see typically during a blind puzzle race is that uh, people will sometimes it just you don't see what the actual solution is in front of you. Um, and it's, it's a bad feeling, but it happens is that you'll often see people restart uh, at the last moment thinking that or when they're about to clear it. The other thing we'll see is to have, um, <laughs> sorry, chat there. Uh, the other thing that will happen a lot is that typically there's a very strong chance that this race really can go anyway, because any one of these levels can have just the right kind of solution to it that it makes a wall. Um, it's very common to see walls in puzzle games, especially where uh, the racer, for instance, handles all the levels before it. They handle all the levels after it just fine, but that one stage for some reason takes them 10 minutes. And that's going to happen because it's just, it's nothing's quite what was expected there. So it looks like Jal's moving on towards the end of stage world two. We also have uh, Space Cow moving on there getting closer and closer not far behind we have spin beast over on two seven and pidge is still stuck on two four so what's your take on this game how well do you think you'd be performing if you were in the uh, hot seat right now i think i would not be performing very well this does seem like one where you have to have a lot of trial and error and from what I saw in the chat, somebody says that the farther it goes, there will be more colors added in. Ooh. So we are going to see things getting a little bit more difficult. I figured it'd be harder in the limits of uh, movements that they're allowed to make because that's adding that maximum movement value to it does add a little bit of challenge to this for sure. Because um, the game's already painful enough to make sure you're putting everything in its right spot. But with that, you can just keep trying and trying and trying until you actually did form an impossible solution. But here having those limits really does add to the pressure of it. Yeah, and they're not so easy. You also got the metal balls that are in some of the levels that will screw up with uh, the movements. Oh yeah, it's... Th those balls were actually probably one of the more difficult mechanics because they're they're getting in your way. The thing is that not only is it just the fact that they're getting in your way, but the fact that they are going to be required for some solutions to use those balls to line up and allow your uh, allow your your other icons to match up properly is going to require actual placement of those or balls. Like you'll see that in Jao's solution over here, wherein he's going to want to kind of make sure that those or the the metal balls are lined up at the top to allow him to stack the rest of the items on he's only been two um two steps away from from clearing it before but he just didn't see the the option there yeah so and space like cow was also stuck on the same problem too but spin spin takes up the lead here Spin coming out of nowhere now on 3-4. Okay, it looks like we're also going to have another person joining us on commentary. The reason why is that this is going to be Alpha 5 joining us momentarily. Um, the reason he's joining us is that actually it's him who submitted this game. So he'll know a little bit more about it and be able to give us some further details on what we're looking at. Oh, uh, it'll be just a bit while he gets set up. It's always Alpha's fault. Sorry, It'll Alpha. Always another... be Alpha's fault. Oh, you have no idea yet. <laughs> It'll always be Alpha's fault. So this is unexpected. We are seeing Spin. Spin is pulling ahead here. To give people a little bit of a uh, of a backstory on Spin, Spin again joined during Mystery Tournament Ten, and he has not run won a single. Um, mystery tournament match. Wow. He, he'll admit that he's not very good, but he still chugs along like a hero anyway, and he's currently in the lead. Way to make a man feel bad, though. Hey, I'm just being honest. Welcome, Alpha, here. Welcome, Alpha. 
I was super excited when I saw this as the first game, because I was initially going to submit this to Mystery Tournament 12, but then this puzzle tournament came along, and uh, I'm like, okay, that's where the sub is going. <laughs> hey, now, be careful. You, you could use those subs if you didn't tell everybody ahead of time what they were. No, no, I, I had already opted into not using it. So, what about it made you think that this is a really good game for the, the um, puzzle tournament? So, a lot of it, um, and you'll see it getting later, um, is that you can look at it and then you can see, like, okay, my... Uh, in the early stages are simple, it's just move up, down, left, or right most times. And it's pretty easy because you know everything always flows in one direction to kind of pre-plan all of your moves to solve it. And there's, uh, solve it. And there's only usually ever one, sometimes two some odd solutions to a stage so you have to kind of piece that together but in some of the later stages you have it says like okay the number of moves you have are like seven and you have three colors of blocks and there's a single metal ball and like a block in the middle of the screen and so you have to if you sit there and meticulously plan out where everything is going to move out rather than just trial and error where you might forget one of those steps i thought it was interesting because if you the more you plan out the faster I seem to go while playing this game. Um, and just in general, when I uh, was racing NES Puznik, uh, at one point I saw this mode and I thought this was a hell of a lot of fun. I just saw it. Spin Beast had it in one move and moved the incorrect way. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's... Oof. Those yeah. are my least favorite. <laughs> You're gonna see him too. He's getting right to the end and it's just at the end you get hit. And it looks like Jal is back in the lead, heading into stage 3-9. There we go, I put the emote up properly. So, Jal is taking back the lead, so Spin fell behind a little bit there. Oof, but that's... yep. But that's okay, because Spin, again, of note, Jal is facing Pidge here. This is a 1v1 match between these, we're just saving games by having people do quads, uh, matchups. So, this means that, that even if Jal does beat Spin, he's not too concerned because Spin can still win his match. It's Jal versus um, Pidge, and it's Spin Beast versus Space Cow. So, do keep that in mind again, and we'll try to make that a little more clear in the future. Um, I'll pass that along as well. So, have we... Okay, so now we're seeing... In Spin Beast, I'm just now noticing that the blue is an extra color here. Was yes. it always only three colors? Or um, two colors before? Uh, yes. Um, up until a certain point, you just get green and this red. Uh, and then as you go further into the game, you start getting uh, blue. Um, and I don't know if it adds any more colors. I stopped playing in, like, World 6 or something like that after I realized I'd been going for too long. Um, <laughs> and needed to eat. The classic food break. Yeah, destroying uh, your ability to come back. Yeah, and also there were someone give games, so that that stopped that. So, uh, okay, let's. So Spin's getting tied up with uh, Jal over there, and as Jal progresses forward, so we're actually seeing some pretty good competition here. Now, again, keep in mind this race is far from over. Any one of these racers can get walled on a stage that they just can't see while their opponent understands it immediately. Yeah. And that's going to be huge time differences there. World 4 is where the difficulty starts. I'm, I'm going to say existing. It really, really picks up in World 4. Um, to the point where I would have liked to make the goal longer and submit World 5, but World 5 is also ridiculous. Um, that gets real hard. So... Ridiculous as in three colors with balls all over the place? Uh, th well, actually, it's it's one of those scenarios in a lot of those puzzles, less is more. You have to figure out how to get everything to line up correctly, and you think eight to nine moves is enough. It's not. <laughs> so the kind where the, the amount of moves that you get is going to start really messing with you. Because yeah, like, because yeah, you, you have to make sure that the only way these two are going to match up are reliant on you landing them on top of these other two, which can't match and stuff like that. 
So at this point, we see that Spin is now moving into stage four, while Jao is moving on to 4-2. So they are taking a pretty commanding lead, while both of their opponents are still on stage 3-3. Three, three. With the complexity of the levels that we're about to see, though, I mean, do you think that it's possible that he's going to get held up, or do you think that the opponents there are going to be struggling just as much? Um... Yeah, I would... Uh, it's possible... There is at least one puzzle I know of that's further in that's more of reverse solving a maze than, like, the rest of it has been. And oh, wow. If, yeah, and that one... That one I could see him getting hung up as now my stream has just turned into a traffic cone, so... Um... <laughs> that's not helpful. Paradise right, like, comes in saying the real contest of the game is gel versus spin. Yeah, because they're both... Uh, uh, again, they aren't really facing each other, but oh yeah, they're facing each other. Let us not forgive... Uh, let us not uh, let Jal know... Or de we'll continue to remind yeah. Jal that Spin beat him. Don't worry. Yeah, oh, gotcha. no, there is no way that you're <laughs> ever living that down if it happens. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we are a bit biased in our commentary on account of... Uh, again, <laughs> I, I Alpha... Here. Yeah, Alpha, Jal... Spin and I were all part of the Mystery Funhouse crew, so we're actually all pretty well know each other at this point. And Sp Space Cow had his uh, epic T Rex escape against some girl in the last Mystery Tournament, so we got plenty of him in that 42 minute great game year Jurassic Park race. <laughs> now, I just noticed that Spin Beast just completed 4 4, and looking at it, we had four green gems. Could that be completed by doing. Two and two? Two like, and two, yes. Yep. Two and two or all four at once. I'm pretty sure that stage in particular isn't all four at once, but my stream is down, so I cannot remember. Yeah, so I've, I've Jal seen just taking it down four. two and two. Yeah, that's how Jal handled it. It was the, the two on two. So it's that's another thing that's going to mess you up is that sometimes you might go, oh, I need all four to go together when it's like, no, you need to make sure that you're specifically not doing that. So Spin and Jell in the same spot. Pretty impressive. We got uh, Pidge still working on 3-7, and Space Cow is behind on 3-3. Three, 3-4, three. Three, I'm sorry. So we have a comment that I didn't notice because it's hard to... Sometimes it's a little hard to focus on four puzzles at once and how it's going. But uh, the mention that it's uh, people are completing puzzles in different ways. Yeah, this game, from the looks of it, has a pretty decently open puzzle solution structure. Like, it's not required yeah. unique puzzle or it's got not got one unique solution for most of the levels yeah i mean for for some of them um it is oh god um the, for some of the puzzles they do obviously only have one solution such as the first well i guess the first one you can push left and then up or up then left uh but for a lot of these puzzles there are usually one or two ways to do it although as it goes on sometimes they try to pigeonhole you, it, it seems. Um, although I don't know if we're going to be able to see that. Let me get all of these open. Yeah, everybody's rooting for spin as both him and Jal are stuck on 4-6, which oh, is yeah. a really difficult stage. Yeah. I'd love to see spin this one, honestly. It's going to be like... He won't expect it. So, with 4-6, four, with four, um... Again, and this this is one of those things where if you sit back and you pre-planned it um, to see where it goes, because there's only so many states you can be in. Like this whole thing is finite states, um, and you have four moves. So, and then, yep, that looks like Worms just uh, got it. Yeah, Jal figured it out. Or, yep, Jal. He said he'd kick my butt if I called him that. Well, he didn't threaten me. Although it looks like Spin <laughs> has it. He just has to know. Oh, you had it. All you do is left and down. See, that's another case of the, like, you, you just don't see it sometimes. It looks that... like he only had one move left. He got it. Now, he, he, now it. he has to have it. Right? Yeah, there he goes. He's on the 4-7. Now, 4-7, this is... This one's gonna be... Yeah, oh no, but... Jal making a mistake. 
Meanwhile, we have, uh... Who's that oh, top right? It's like, go at it, and then went the wrong way! Pitch pulling ahead decently from Space Cow. You know, I'm just gonna... Where's the mute button on half of these streams? <laughs> yeah, apparently the music has done a very good job of torturing all the rest of the players. Uh, I have not been listening to it, so... Um, I'm gonna say, when you're playing this game, you really don't notice the music so much as these, uh... These... Plus... Green pluses. So... Another key thing about mystery uh, mystery challenges in general, um, and I imagine it's the same for this race, is that one big thing Ooh, is that... Spin. Oh, snap, he took the lead! Spin, though! Yo, <laughs> they're right behind each other! Oh, yo, you I got feel this. the dream is going to come true. Oh, man. <laughs> this is a race. <laughs> so, um, I believe this one, you end up... Okay, actually, Spin just... Oh, no, but unfortunately, he almost had that, I think. Yeah, there's the, one of the actually the pain points I felt in this game, and this was just, um, was that if you're just like, okay, I remember my first move was up, but you're actually your first move was right to move like one piece randomly, and then you just restart it and push up, and you feel really bad. <laughs> yeah, it, it gets to be a pain. But I mean, so, because we don't have any undo buttons in this game, the older yeah. games they didn't have that button. Oh, it looks like it. Jow's got the solution. Yeah. By doing what Spin had been doing, but instead of pushing down here, he pushed up. Yeah, it's... Push the... up, Spin. You can do it. It's all you need oh. to do. <laughs> Jow is now <laughs> on the last level. And Jow gets the clear. Jow, Jow has it. the cheated pitch with a nine-stage lead. Okay. So another thing to mention is that during mystery tournaments, during uh, races like this, the other racers, you can't see your opponent's stream. So you can't watch them for clues. You can't know where they're at. That's a big one, is that especially when we have races happening through SRL's IRC page, um, which we have right now as well, you, you don't really get to know any indicator of just how well your opponent is doing until they've either finished or you've finished. Because yeah. what we saw first is that Saiho finished about five minutes ago, which really puts the pressure on anybody watching. So all Spin has to do here is go up, and he, he does it! He moves up! Oh my god, I'm so proud of him. Move right, move so, down, yeah, move actually, right, move down! To give an idea of that kind of pressure that builds up, and I can actually use Jal as an example. I raced him in the last Mystery Tournament, um, and... During one of the games, we had Monster Party with a terribly written paste bin that didn't even let us know that we could transform, which is 90% of the game's mechanics. Um, and Spin gets there! Spin gets the clear. So we have Jow and Spin Beast both moving on to round two. And then if, if, if Jow keeps playing, you can see in 5-1, it just starts getting um, to out, ouchies level of uh, difficulty. Um, as oh you can god, see, I've got 5-1. Yeah, very, very few pieces. Uh, this stage took me longer than it did to get here. Um, it, it wasn't the easiest of stages. <laughs> There's a lot to do. Alright, so, um, I'm checking now if we're sticking with it until the rest of the racers finish. Um, let me just double check if that's going to be the case, because we're, we're doing the commentary. We don't ne aren't necessarily in control of the stream here. Yeah, but uh, to, to finish my story on, uh... It, it, we were playing Monster Party, and Jal's number one comment was just in the middle of the race, I'm not happy. Which, <laughs> to me, told me that he was having as bad of a time that I was, and I was able to, you know, calm myself down a little bit. Um, little did I know, he was having a significantly worse time than I was, because I found out I could transform into a fire-breathing uh, gargoyle and was able to just run over a bunch of enemies, and he had not found that yet. <laughs> yeah, and, and one of the core hardest techniques, really, in any game and anything that you're doing, is to not get tilted. And in Mystery, it's even harsher. So, oh, are we going to see a different situation or solution from... No, it looks like we're not. That's not quite going to work out for, for Space yeah. Cow. 
So I I don't know if there the the stage that uh, five one that Worms is doing if there's an alternative solution. I don't even remember how I solved it. That stage is just brutal, um, and it really kicks up the difficulty once you start getting into the. Uh, oh well, the spin's already. Man, spin's trucking. Oh wow, already moving on to five three. Yeah, he got that one. So Unless yeah, we are. Um, spin's we... trying to prove that he is the puzzle master. We already I, talked here um, with the. W I talked with the restreamer. We are in fact going to keep going until the uh, race is over. So we're going to see how well they handle it. Oh, okay. Finn's either the puzzle champion or he's he's cheating. I don't know which. <laughs> I don't know. I, come to think of it, has Finn ever actually gotten a puzzle game during mystery tournament? Like I don't think he no, has. Because he's too busy. Subbing games about hippos and volcanoes or I Spy Challenge. <laughs> Dude, I Spy Challenger was a beast. That <laughs> was amazing. <laughs> Sorry, it's oh. way too easy to get in the trap of reminiscing about prior MTs here yeah, during uh, another so mystery one of the time. Things I, I did like about this is if you double input, it doesn't just eat your move. I, I really appreciated that this game actually thought that through. Oh, does it actually buffer your input? Well, no, if you double tap a direction, it's just like, alright, your gravity's already in this direction, so don't waste a move this direction. Like, okay. that just made me feel good. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Yeah, you can't actually, like, miss input in the same direction, basically. Yeah, which is super, super duper nice. Um, you can miss input horribly, and then watch as your hopes and dreams slide in the opposite direction. But, everything else is great. <laughs> Little update, Pidge is currently on 4-5, Space Cow is currently stuck on 3-7. It's been stuck there for about three minutes now. Yeah, so there, like I said, this is an exactly uh, perfect example of that wall that I was mentioning, that you, you get to puzzles that like, you'll solve everything before it, you'll solve everything after it, but you just can't seem to grasp that one thing about this puzzle. And it'll cost you in the end. That's why the, the one of the key things about the lengths of puzzles chosen, games chosen, is that we tend to make sure that they are chosen to where um, it's not so short that those kind of walls mess you over. This game having 40 stages means that no individual level is likely to cost you as much time as the overall whole, which is really important for things like this because it can feel real, real bad when you lose because you just couldn't solve one puzzle out of five. Spin Beast commenting in uh, another Discord. Be glad this wasn't sub to MT12. We can't have a win to my name. <laughs> He's got to keep his perfect 0-2 record. But, um... So let's look at this 4-6. I've seen the solution a couple times. And yeah, it's then, definitely holding up Pidge there. I'm curious how long it's going to take, uh... How long it's going to take Space Cow to make it past 3-6. He's been there for a bit. Yeah. So, the harder levels, I think, are the ones that obviously give you more moves. Because what you have... is Spin doing? He's still gonna stream up. Hey, Spin. Spin. Up. He's looking up the solution. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew he was a dirty cheat. <laughs> just, just, just for post-race. I don't believe he cheated at all during the race. <laughs> no, However, he's fine. He's just gotta be worried about where he's spinning. Now he's a dirty cheater. We're we're a good-looking stream over here, guys. I mean, we're helping out this NASA speed or marathon channel. So um, I think you gotta solution... be... Wait, I think he's also listening to us. <laughs> I can hear us in the background. It's about right. I think the solution is to go up spin and then right. Try that. All right, and Pidge is making its way past. Aha, uh -huh, you can see spin with this flimsy excuse. I was bringing up the stream. That's we all know. We all know. We're not judging. We're judging. We're judging a lot. I'm judging. Oh, there we go! 
and Jow's keeping the stream up on the main page for us so we can see a nice little picture of what the title screen looks like. I like the heart. Which, right. so the thing about Puznik for NES is that, uh, Puznik itself is totally different from Graviton Mode. Um, yeah, because... Like, this is basically a two-in-one for, like, games. How Puznik. does Puznik itself play? Well, uh, maybe we should have said that in case it's been subbed for like, the um, It's a block-swapping game. Um, you swap blocks and you match them and they go away. Okay. And there's gravity and all these other sorts of fun things. Um, so kind of Tetris Attack-like, or...? Yes, actually, Tetris Attack, but it's a... It's not a rising or falling block puzzle, it's a, um... Yeah. Oh. Space uh, Cow! Space Cow's moving on to 410, oh, which is... Pidge! Pidge moving on to 410. Pidge, Pidge, bah. Just, uh, got him mixed up. This Pidge, easy on, level. Pidge. And... I don't remember if you can solve it in that direction, but you're gonna run out of... Oh, oh wait, no, that works! Barely! There it goes, and... Pidge gets the clear. Good job, Pidge. Space Cow is all that's remaining. So, I'd like to say thanks to our runners there. I mean, this is this was a good race. Especially between yeah. Jal and Spin, just watching that go. Um, like I said, Spin's not really... He'll he'll say it more than I say it that, that he's he's got a pretty instant record or pretty me record. I don't think anybody really gets puzzle games in MT, which is why we're all bad at it. No, it's a shame. I mean, that was a great showing from Spin. So it looks like uh, all right, it looks like this race is over. Once um, Pidge cleared, uh, Base Cow went ahead and forfeited, which is you know if you're not doing the greatest and you're still pretty far behind there's no shame in forfeiting games no shame at all none all right so i guess we'll probably be wrapping up the stream here um thanks again for having me here i've been blasphemous roar Alf or i've been blasphemous roar and you guys I i'm alpha five and and i'm blue bomber 285 and uh thanks for putting up with us as we talked for a half an hour about Puznik <laughs> gravity mode we will see you in the next match cubs or Possibly some of us will see you. It's it's a thing. You'll have somebody. Someone will be there. I won't. <laughs>